Lesson 6.2, we're going to talk about the size of equal groups. We can model a division problem to find how many in each group by using counters and making equal groups. When we multiply, we put equal groups together, combine them to find how many in all. When we divide, we can separate how many in all into equal groups to find how many in each group. When we multiply, like 2 times 3 is equal to 6, that means we have two groups of 3. We have one group, two group, there's 6 in all. When we divide 6 in all into two equal groups, there'll be three in each group. When we have three times two is equal to six, see the factors are changed in order, that means we have three groups of two. We have one, two, three groups of two. When we divide six divided by three equals two, we have six split as three groups of two. There's two in each group. When we divide, we can separate how many in all into equal groups to find how many in each group. We have 6 divided by, that's the division sign, 3 is equal to 2. We're going to learn in the next few videos that this 6 is called the dividend, this 3 is called the divisor, and the 2 is called the quotient. That's the answer. It's the amount to split up the number of equal groups and how many in each group. It's how many in all, it's the rows, and it's the columns. And we'll learn about that in this chapter. Lisa has 12 hair clips. She puts an equal number of hair clips in each of four boxes. How many hair clips are in each box? What do we need to find? We need to find the number of hair clips in each box. We need to circle the important information. She has 12 hair clips. There are four boxes, and she's going to put an equal number of hair clips in each box. We make a plan to solve the problem. We can divide to find how many in each group in each box, and we can use counters and make equal groups. We draw or use counters. We get 12 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We draw four squares to represent the four boxes. Then we put one counter at a time into each box until all 12 counters are used. So we need to take each counter one at a time and fill the boxes. We put a counter into each box, that's four. Then we have five, six, seven, eight. And now we go back and start with this one again. Nine, 10, 11, 12. We used all 12 counters. We look at how many are in each box. There are three counters in each group, so there are three hair clips in each box. We know Lisa was able to put three hair clips in each box. Dave has 18 rocks. He puts an equal number of rocks in each of six boxes. How many rocks are in each box? We draw six squares to represent six boxes. We draw one counter at a time into each box until we have drawn 18 counters. We can draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
17, 18. We took turns putting one in each box. We can see there are three counters in each square. There are three rocks in each box. Dave has three rocks in each box. We had 18 in all. We divided it into six equal groups and there are three in each group. We found that Dave had 18 rocks in six boxes with three rocks in each box. How many rocks would be in each box if he only had three boxes? Well, he has 18 of them. We draw three squares to represent the three boxes. We draw one counter at a time into each box until we have drawn 18 counters. We're going to take turns putting a counter in each box until we have done 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. You can fill that one in. And there are six counters in each square. That means there's six rocks in each box. He had 18 rocks in all. We split it into three equal groups and found that there were six in each group. We learned in chapter five that multiplication is the same as repeated addition. We can check our multiplication by using repeated addition, can't we? Three times two is equal to six. And it's the same thing. It's equal to three plus three. We have two threes. It's equal to six. Well, division is the same as repeated subtraction. Six divided into two equal groups is equal to three. We can subtract two three times. We have six minus two. That's equal to four. We can take away another two. That's equal to 2. We take away another 2. That's equal to 0. We've used them all because we have a 0. And we have 2 three times. It's very important to put our counters into the groups, the circles or boxes, one at a time. Because we could put too many in some of the groups. Here we have 15 counters. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We need to put an equal number in each of five circles. We have five groups. We need to make equal groups with the same amount in each group. If we just start putting counters in, let's put four in this one. We'll put four in this one. We'll put four in this one. So far, so good, right? Uh-oh. We can't put four in this one or in that one. So that's why it's good to put one at a time into each group. Then we can make equal groups. We start by putting one into each group. We put another one into each group. And we do it until we've used all the counters. We can see with 15 counters in five equal groups, there's three in each group. And we can check our division by using multiplication. We had 15 counters. We divided it into five equal groups and there were three in each group. And five groups of three is equal to 15. And we're going to discuss this more in video 6.7. We're only in 6.2 right now. And we're going to talk about how we can relate multiplication and division in video 6.7. Tala has 13 seashells. Can she put an equal number of seashells into four boxes? How many seashells will be in each box? So we draw counters one at a time into each box until we have drawn 13 counters. 
we put one in each box, that's four. We put another one into each box, now we have eight. That would be nine, 10, 11, 12. Uh-oh, we need one more. But if we put it into this box, we won't have equal groups. We have one left over. We have one remaining. So there are three counters in each square with one remaining. That means there are three seashells in each box with one remaining. Tala was not able to put an equal number of seashells into four boxes when she had 13 seashells. She had one remaining. Sometimes when we do division and split up an amount, we might have some left over. We might have some remaining. Here we have a table and it's telling us that there are 12 counters in three equal groups and we need to finish the table to find how many are in each group. And there are 18 counters in two groups and we need to find how many are in each group. We can draw counters and put them into equal groups. This will help us finish the table to find how many in each group. We have 12 counters in three equal groups. So we have three equal groups here and we put 12 counters in them one at a time until we've drawn all 12. We've drawn in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we can see there's four in each group. We put a four in the section of the table for how many in each group. This one says there's 18 counters in two equal groups. We can draw counters in the groups taking turns until we've counted 18. We put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We can see there's nine in each group. We put a nine into our table for how many in each group. In our next lesson, video 6.3, We'll see how to divide to separate how many in all to find the number of equal groups. In this lesson, we had the number of equal groups and we found how many were in each group. Now, we're going to find how many equal groups there are. So remember, as you're using these counters, you want to put them into the equal groups one at a time so that you know how many are going to go in each group and you're going to put the same amount in each group. Don't start filling the first group with a bunch of counters. Put them in one at a time taking turns in each group. I hope you're doing very well and I hope you're okay and I'll see you next time. Bye!